he was the daddy's boy for sure. But he, he didn't play about his mama. Destroyed my life. Destroyed my life. Before he went to school, he called me. <laughs> he said, Mama, um, telling you happy Valentine's Day before I went to school. And that was the last time I talked to him. By February 2023, the parents of a teen in Norcross, Georgia, said they'd made multiple reports about a young man and others picking on their 13-year-old son. Sadly, those reports were not enough to save his life. It took one final confrontation, and the Norcross community was reeling as a 13 whose life was cut short joined 16-year-old Susanna Morales and 17-year-old Rodrigo Floriano in consuming the headlines. It was 5.40 in the afternoon on Valentine's Day 2023 when a vehicle was heard driving up Windward Lane. 13-year-old Jaden Travis told his father, Harold, that a teenager whom he had issues with before had challenged him to a so-called BB walk. As the car with the boys approached, he ran out of the house into the street with a BB in hand. Harold took off right behind him, but by the time the father made it outside, he heard several discharge sounds and watched as his son fell to the ground. Jaden had been wounded in the lower abdomen. Harold rushed to call paramedics as the other teens sped off. Jaden was transported to the hospital where sadly he later succumbed to his injuries. The Gwinnett County Hami and Crime Scene Investigators Unit spent most of the evening combing over the scene, speaking to neighbors, and seeing if there were any surveillance videos of the incident available. You know, I was my best friend, I was my little guy. We did everything together. Terrible, actually, because I got two kids, you know, and uh, I, I do my best to try to, you know, raise them right, make sure that everything goes accordingly with them, but it just seems like no matter where you go, you just can't get away from nonsense. And then for them to be that young, that just doesn't make sense. Yeah. You know, kids are innocent. Harold said he warned his youngest son not to go outside, but unfortunately, the 13-year-old did not heed his father's advice. He also spoke of the devastation of knowing he wouldn't be able to spend time with his son doing things they loved, like fishing. The two had quite the bond. When asked why Jaden may have been picked on, his parents said the others were jealous of him and his sense of style. Just jealous of him, jealous of the, what he would wear and, you know, put him in the chat, chat on this social media mess. I came outside and ran behind him, hollering, Jaden, Jaden. So by the time I got to the middle of the street, I heard pop, 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 and my son fell. Head straight right down in here. I said, don't you, don't you, don't you close your eyes on me. Don't you die on me, boy. Don't not close your eyes, Jay. They couldn't save my baby, and God didn't save him either. And I begged God to save my son. Jaden's mother, Jay Quitta Miller's son, was absolutely heartbroken. She said her son loved fishing, riding his horse, and hunting. He was the daddy's boy for sure but he, he didn't play about his mom. Jaquita describes her son, Jaden Travis, as an old soul taken far too soon. Yesterday morning before he went to school, he called me. <laughs> he said, Mama, um, telling you happy Valentine's Day before I went to school. And that was the last time I talked to him. For Jaden's family, they're not wondering who took their son's life. According to his parents, they believe it's a young man who they say bullied their son for years. Not long before his passing, Jaden changed schools due to problems he kept running into with an unidentified group. The mother said that on multiple occasions, they'd called the police to investigate incidents where her son was targeted outside of school. At 13, he wanted to enjoy his life. All type of stuff. They sent him pictures of guns, you know, threatened to actually kill him. Now y'all kill my baby. Millerson claims they've called police to investigate several times 
but nothing ever came of their calls for help. For the last three years, we, we got police reports out on the same kid, the same kid he's been after my baby. We crying out to the police and we making police reports about our children being bullied. They need to investigate more than write it down in black and white until now something happened. Now y'all want to investigate. A vigil was held in the teen's honor the following day. Balloons, candles, and teddy bears were left in the spot where he collapsed. His mother and an unidentified witness also shared more details about the tragic afternoon with media sources. According to the witness, a car pulled up and two teens stepped out. He said he saw Travis carrying what appeared to be a weapon, walking up in the direction of the boys. The witness stated that all three were arguing before one of the teens reached into the vehicle pulled out a firearm and discharged four shots at Travis. They then came over here and jumped on him where I had to jump in the fight. It's just ridiculous. On Valentine's Day, she said they showed back up. They was just, you know, enticing him to come outside like he was, and he was basically showing that he's not a punk. They're telling Jaden, you know, don't leave from in front of your house or whatever, but you know how t teenagers are, they high-headed, they want to show that they're not punk. Yeah, he had a BB, but he did. The driver, him because Jaden, he's seen Jaden with a beat. Millerson says police have tracked the boys down who shot their son and they're claiming self-defense. Now they're trying to claim that, oh, Jaden had a beat. They had nothing to do with it. Both of them had a beat gun and the driver had a real gun. If anyone has any information to share regarding this case, please contact the Gwinnett County Police Department detectives at 770-513- five three zero zero and if you would like to remain anonymous tipsters can call crime stoppers at four zero four five seven seven tips that's four zero four five seven seven eight four seven seven you also have the option of submitting the tip online at www.stopcrimeatl.com Crime Stoppers tippers can receive a cash reward for information leading to an arrest and indictment in this case. May the family and friends of Jaden Travis find solace in the happy memories and may his soul rest in perpetual peace. Thank you.